What's going on YouTube? Tony Maritato, licensed physical therapist here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about using one of my favorite devices to reduce swelling and reduce pain after a total knee replacement. So you guys have seen this on my channel multiple times. It's a simple rolling pin. And there's a couple ways to do this. So assuming that we're dealing with a right total knee replacement, I'm hanging out on the couch. I keep my rolling pin available because I know how easy it is to get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day of recovery. You've got physical therapy appointments. You've got all of the, these different things you're trying to remember. And before you know it, two, three days will pass and you won't have used the rolling pin to massage the leg. So keep it out, keep it somewhere where you can see it. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it a couple of ways. If you have the extension to allow you to sit back and elevate the leg in this position, using the rolling pin to create a negative pressure. In other words, I'm bringing the fluid back from the knee up into the system. I usually apply downward pressure and upward pressure. I can work the top, the inside, the outside. If you have staples closing the incision, you don't wanna roll over the staples, but any other form of closure, you're generally safe to kind of apply a little bit of pressure at the very top of the incision if needed. And so I'll spend about two minutes uh, working through this area. Once I've created a little bit of a negative pressure to move some of the lymphatic drainage and fluid back into the system, then what I'll do is I'll bend the knee to tolerance and I'll work on the lower leg. So the calf muscle is going to go through a lot of soreness, a lot of stiffness. You can spend some time again swiping with pressure up toward the knee because then it's going to work its way back into the lymphatic system and drainage. I can work the outside of the lower leg so the peroneal muscles usually get sore. There is no benefit to massaging the shin bone itself, but working on the inside and working on the outside certainly is going to help reduce some of that sensitivity.